Apparently nobody is capable of camouflaging. What? What attacked me? Oh, what? A bear-like tree- two bear-like treants. Alright, come on. Come on, you got this. You guys have killed these things before. You can totally do it again. Why the fuck are there two bear-like treants here? Oh, this is madness. Oh, fucking try to walk around, get attacked by a goddamn water elemental. Two of them, even. Try and rest, you get attacked by two giant bear trees. Madness, I say. Complete and utter calamity. Will you show me that move? The one you used to slice that creep in half. Hey! What are you grinning at? You just dare to make another joke about your tent? <laughs> You're reading my mind. All right, I'll show you. No problem. <laughs> Okay. Yes! All right then. It is done. One day in two hours. Good God. Done with waiting. I'm restless. Mm. Something bothering you? I yearn. Time for fun. Oh shit, I didn't use charge on Thorkin. That was my fault. My fucking fault. My own goddamn fault. Oh god, Tristan. Do I just have to charge the Nereid? Or Nereid? Nereid? Whatever the fuck that word is? Maybe that'll work. Actually, no, it probably wouldn't. Bunch of attacks of opportunity. Maybe I'll go back and make an attempt at the other ones. Hmm. Fuck it. Let's go in. I see something. You see Oh, you see a trap. I don't know what happened to it though. A camp? Someone's been here recently. And I just stole all their shit. Yeah! Great job, Octavia. You succeeded where Lindsay failed. These boats were obviously pulled ashore recently. Inside them are hooks, pivots, and... and... other tools that will be needed to recover things from underwater. Okay. So, these guys are some deep-sea treasure hunters, I guess. Not exactly deep-sea. No, not deep sea. In fact, lake. I believe I found something. What? Ooh. Pile of notes. First note, I'm not going to say it out loud. The chief would rip me a new one if he heard me. 
but I think it's time to hit the road. Silverstep is cursed! Look, just yesterday I saw a boat sailing in the lake. A big one. Kind w Kind with a big sail. And there were a bunch of people on board around some big box or chest or something. All of a sudden the steersman spins the wheel and rams the boat right against the rocks. The wreck went down at that cliff not far from our cave. The people jumped out and tried to swim for shore, but they just froze in place and sank underwater without a sound. One got close enough I could see his face, a mask of terror I can't even begin to describe. Yelled something about Charon. Went pale, froze like the others, and POP! That was the last I saw of him. Sure, there are plenty of nasty beasts around, but this was something else. I trust my instincts and they're screaming at me loud as can be to get out while we still can. If we don't, we're all gonna die. Uh, info. There we go. Second note. Cut the whining, bud. There's a wrecked boat and you say we should run? I say we go take a look. There might be some valuables in the, that wreckage. Third note. Now you've done it. Chief found out about the boat in the chest and now all he talks about is looking for treasure. He's gonna have the others out searching for it, poking around the lake bed with the hooks. And at night, all of all things. Oh, at night of all things. So the locals didn't notice. Don't notice. Why do I suck at reading in this game? I'm telling you, no good will come of this. These woods give me the creeps and they're even worse at night. Day before yesterday, I was on my back, on my way back to the cave and heard a noise behind me. Turned around and saw two glowing eyes staring at me from the woods. Imagine it, the fir grove in the dark and just two blazing embers in the night. I don't know what it was and I don't want to. I'm just glad it disappeared as soon as I saw it. Fourth note. While you were busy being scared of that wolf or runaway kitty or whatever it was, I found that box! It's just sitting there! All that precious treasure right on the lake bed. It's not even that far from shore. We're fishing it out tomorrow. Fifth note. Are you serious? I swear, if we don't get out of here before that box is out of the water, something terrible is going to happen. Look, the beast that attacked the cave was scary, sure, but we gave it hell, didn't we? And when we chi the chief- When the chief set it on fire, it ran off, didn't it? Howled so loud I thought my head would explode. But we came out fine. No, I think I'm gonna stay. I bet that box is full of treasure, and as for the beasts and those drowned men of yours, well, this profession's all about taking risks, right? There's risks, then there's whatever this is. No. When the chief goes out to get that box, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show my heels. Farewell, pal. Life is long, and maybe we'll meet again someday if we, played our, if we play our cards, right? Okay. Hmm. I wonder who that guy is. Maybe we'll see him again. Or maybe we'll see him at all. We haven't seen him so far. Probably. It is done. Oh. Hello there. I'll be damned. That beast again? No, these are new strangers. I bet they want to take away our loot. They're messing with the wrong men. Nah, I don't want to kill you guys. Can you make it oh, for fuck's sake. Why do you want to murder me? They're just called bandits, so... It's not like I need to... Worry about them. Oh, you're at the back. Why are you at the back? Oh, for fuck's sake. I really did not think I would need to use this. God damn it. I always survive. Well, I guess that's what I get for sending those people out to uh, out in the out into the anus.